Let's put, like, put two blocks because there's a switch next to it. And like if possible we want to have the circuitry be mostly hidden. do this. If we have that, 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 which that needs to be inverted, right? Uh, and then, then what if we just like open up the space down here? I need to light this up because otherwise there's going to be cave noises down here as well. The snow is so annoying. And I guess I want all the circuitry to be accessible. I don't think you hear them 
further up and I'm not sure. Maybe I should go down there and fill in more of that cave. Let me Google Minecraft cave noise. Distance. Ambiance. Cave sounds. Cave ambiance. It doesn't say how far away it is. Algorithm doesn't see how far it is. <laughs> well, that's not useful. is not useful. Snow, that's what. Maybe this should be like all glowstone. No, that's crazy. Uh, if that's gonna be like that, that's gonna be like that. And then the signal goes into there, right? Like if I pulse the signal into there, it turns it on. Yep. Uh, So, alright, dark grey, dark grey, back there, the cave is right here, huh? Was that low? Okay, that is lower than the other side. Let me... That's why we have cave noises, we are literally just like one block above the cave. Do I need to fill in more of this? Or maybe like light it up. Let me get myself some glowstone. So at least I can see what's going on down here. This is a lot of stuff you have to fill in, right? Than that much, see how that goes for us.
right, so there to there to there, and then this is pushed back by a block. after this is that all the well it's not that much of an issue this the the uh, the the melody modules in the ceiling also have to be on the same clock so there's that part to figure out one thing at a time. So first of all, let's have all these things hit the same clock first of all. figure out how to get down here, like a, oops, like a staircase of some sort. Cave noise? I was just gonna say, I haven't heard any cave noises. How, how close do caves have to be for you to hear them? second half of the Cliffs and Caves update. I kind of want to do like a, a survival run when they, when they release that. Like just uh, have a playthrough, maybe kill the Ender Dragon, get a bunch of netherite stuff. I played a... Uh, Did a playthrough 
not on video, not on stream, in my own time. A little while back. But there wasn't that much new content, mostly, um... Just like, built a village. Traded for... for a lot of stuff, and then enchanted stuff, and then killed the ender dragon. How is this? I still think they made a mistake with the new cave's design. Which part of the new cave's design do you mean? I'm not sure I've seen the new cave's design. <laughs> Because, I, I mean, I don't play survival very much. I don't play new maps very much. What, what do you disagree with, Harva? Opened everything up, now they're massive and flat. There's no tunnels anymore. But isn't that isn't that just the deep dark? Isn't that like the furthest down, relatively speaking? Is that all caves or is that like the deep dark, like below below current bedrock? I mean that would be a shame if they did that to all the caves, because that's kinda weird. Since I think it's all the caves, that would be a strange decision. <laughs> because then the caves would like not resemble real world caves at all, right? <laughs> I mean, the point of caves is that there are parts of it that are quite narrow, and that the narrowness is is the challenge of navigating. How is this? But I haven't played anything beyond 1.12 for a while now. I might be misremembering. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens when they, you know, release the thing. I mean, it might be cool to have like some big open caves. Not that they're realistic because you know gravity. <laughs> but you know, in terms of like a fantasy adventure, maybe like a, like a, a few of those would be cool. But most caves should be like narrow. And and convoluted. I mean, caves are already kind of too big and too numerous now as it is. <laughs> I know people like like spelunking, but like even even with the currents. Range. I feel like there's too many caves. <laughs> or maybe like they're too open. is like people's popular imagination of caves is like stuff they see in photos, stuff they see in films. The thing with photos is that you only take photos of caves that you can photograph. <laughs> so like the really like narrow, dark, twisty, cramped caves, like nobody takes photos of those really because like there's nothing to see. <laughs> And the vast majority of caves in the world are those. Like, they're not very photogenic. <laughs> they're just like really cramped and, and not very safe. Like a while back, that those kids that got stuck in that cave. That, uh, that soccer team that got stuck in the cave. Like, those caves were... I mean, when they were flooded, they're definitely not photogenic. <laughs> it was just like dark wet and cramped and those are like those are those are the better ones in, in the sense that like those are the places that people actually 
go to visit for tourism. Like that's why they were there. They were tourists. Like those are already caves that are suitable for visiting. <laughs> Unlike the vast majority of, of caves around the world. Alright, so we've got a hole, finally. So down here we're gonna have First of all, up here, I'm gonna have the redstone. 